law of conservation of angular momentum or principle of conservation of angular momentum i am pavagada manjunath lecturer in physics so here i am going to explain law of conservation of momentum by along with my first pc students i am going to use a very simple experiment here this is the pen hollow pen thread at the other end of the thread it is a bob so first i am going to demonstrate this experiment then i am going to explain this using animations so now let us uh, demonstrate the experiment you can also do it look here it has to be hold like this let me rotate it let me rotate it like this and look at the angular velocity so as i pull it look here angular velocity is increased and if the length of the thread is increased angular velocity of the bob is decreased again angular velocity is increased so like this it happens so why it happens why it happens look here now it is angular velocity is low and uh, the thread is the thread length of the thread is decreased angular velocity increases why it is so i will explain it using an law of conservation of angular momentum according to the principle of conservation of angular momentum total angular momentum of an isolated system is conserved angular momentum is equal to moment of inertia into angular velocity that is l is equal to i omega we have to know i is moment of inertia or rotational inertia omega is angular velocity in the in this experiment we take hollow pen and a thread is passed through it at this end a bob is attached and now for different positions the angular velocity is different let us consider a position like this and observe the speed of this one look here the angular velocity of this uh, bob and for the another position for this one you observe the speed look here it is slow it is slowly moving it means angular velocity here is low why it is so at this position angular velocity is low at this position angular velocity is high this can be explained by using the law of conservation of angular momentum consider both the positions this one and uh, this one here this this is the perpendicular distance of this bob from this axis of rotation so and here the perpendicular distance is smaller this perpendicular distance is less than this capital r we know the moment of inertia given by mr square m is mass of the bob and r is this perpendicular distance here also i is equal to m small r square this small as this small r is small when compared to this one moment of inertia at this position about this axis is less when compared to that in this case and according to law of conservation of angular momentum in both the cases the angular momentum must be same so look here in order to maintain this l value that is angular momentum constant if uh, i decreases omega has to be increased for this position i value is more therefore omega value is less so as angular as uh, moment of inertia increases or moment of inertia here it is decreased the angular velocity increases here moment of inertia is increased angular velocity is decreased therefore the bob moves slowly so this is how we can explain law of conservation of angular momentum